First things first, it smells horrendous and it's a little wet. Why is that wet? I'm not sure if it's legal to call this food. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I have an assortment of protein bars, protein snacks, some that y'all been recommending in the comments forever, some that are direct competition with Anabar, and I guess what I'm gonna do is eat them. All right, first up on the list, we're gonna do this purest protein rice crispy treat right here. I've heard good things about this. It's got great macros. 190 calories, no fat, 17 grams of protein. You got me. And keep in mind, other than the Anabars, I've never had any of this stuff here. So if it is being a rice crispy treat, I mean, it looks the part. It's a little, you know what I mean? It's kind of falling apart, but hey, sometimes you gotta make those sacrifices. It's pretty good. Crispy, at first you get that uh, rice crispy marshmallow flavor. I'm gonna back in to get a little bit of that whey protein flavor too, so. Not bad, I'd uh, eat this again, I think. I got a couple other flavors, let me try a different one. This is the cinnamon cookie. Smells good. This one's definitely better. This one's definitely better. Not as much of the back end whey protein taste, so yeah, not bad. Next up, we're gonna do the Finiflex oatmeal cream pie here in the chocolate flavor. Now this one I got high host for, it's my buddy Ankrum. You guys might see him on the podcast on the channel, best friend, business partner. He used to eat the heck out of these things. So we gonna see. All right, first off, look at that thing. That actually looks good. Ooh, but this is a beefy boy. Only 14 grams of protein, 320 calories, 36 carbs, 12 grams of fiber, 17 grams of fat. So she's beefy, she better be good. Mmm, that's good. That is good. Now this one right here on flavor alone, definitely recommended. 14 grams of protein being a little higher calorie. Then you have to make sure you can budget into your diet, but yeah. Texture's good, it's not dry. That's good, it's real good. Wicked Cuts Jerky Chips. Basically it's a chip, but it's meat. What a novel idea. Shout out to Branch Warren for the hookup. Got the roasted red pepper flavor. Now I've had Wicked Cuts before, but I've never had like this actual product here. Nice and thin, you can, I don't even hear that crisp. I don't know if it's close up to my mic, but it's crispy, boy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ooh, spicy, holy shit. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, that was like someone took a blowtorch to my tonsils. Now if I take the spicy out of it, I love the texture. I mean, hold on, like, listen to this. Right, it's like a chip. You got the jerky flavor in there. If uh, honestly, if it wasn't the spicy version, I would probably eat this whole bag. But if I did it right now, I have a strong feeling it'd probably mess up the rest of my week. But overall on these great macros, entire package, 140 calories, 22 grams of protein. These are phenomenal. Airbell Protein Bars, our single biggest competition with Anabar. And all the retailers were in GNC, all these are supplement shops. This is, you know, our direct competition. We'd be fighting tooth and nail with these bastards. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm sure they're fine people. Looks pretty good. I can see why these are our direct competition. I can see why. Look in the middle, you got kind of layers in there. I'm not sure what that is up top, maybe caramel. Can't really tell by the flavor, but it's good. Good texture. The crisps up top are good. It's definitely better than something like a Quest Bar in my opinion, but I will say on flavor alone, there's a weird little aftertaste. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can definitely taste the uh, sugar alcohols in this. It's got six grams. Got this like a uh, chemical taste to it on the back end. Not saying it's bad. I'm just saying when you get those calories down like that and you're trying to keep it sweet and use sugar alcohols, you do get a little bit of that. But if you're just wanting a protein bar that's pretty good with pretty good macros, hey, like I said, I can see why this is our direct competition. We got the Redcon one peanut butter chocolate chip bar right here. Now, I actually forgot we had this in here. I have tried these before months ago at the Arnold. I remember my feelings being mixed, but we're gonna try it again. It's even got powered by peanut butter on here. What we've noticed with uh, Anabar, right? We're a peanut butter based bar. Once we dropped, a lot of companies started trying to do exactly what we're doing. We wish them well. All right, well, first things first, it smells horrendous and it's a little wet. Why is that wet? That is just simply not good. Not good. I'm not sure if it's legal to call this food. This one's exactly like I remember. I remember looking at the label and seeing it and I was like, is this just gonna be like a blatant copy of Anabar? But then I tried it and I was like, whoo, it ain't as easy as just adding peanut butter. But yeah, this is probably my uh, least favorite so far. Only 16 grams of protein, 270 calories. This is one you would have to be like a week away from competition where you're literally starving for it to taste good. Cause I'm starving right now and I don't even wanna eat this. <laughs> 
enhanced pancakes. I've heard really good things about these. My buddy Arturo that works with us with Anna Bar said these were amazing, so we're gonna try them out. There we go. Look at that, that's actually a pancake right there. Mmm. That chocolate in the middle, this legitimately tastes like a pancake. You know, normally when people tell me that stuff like this is gonna taste good, I don't believe them, but this is actually really good. This hands down is the best tasting thing I've had so far. I'm gonna make sure I eat the whole thing. We're gonna try these clean beans right here. Now, if you followed the channel for a while, there's this product that used to be called, I think, like Bada Bean or something, and light and the ice cream people made them. I loved those things. When I was on a cut, help you get some fiber and some protein. Basically, this is the same thing. Fill in that gap. And per serving, four grams of fat, 120 calories, only six grams of protein, 15 grams of carbs. So if you're looking for something really high protein, this isn't really it, but it's a bean. So, you know, if you're gonna snack, this is better than a potato chips or something. And the hot buffalo wing flavor, all right. You know, we can see those, but they're basically um, beans that have been, I mean, I don't know what they did to them, but they're beans. Mmm. Hear that crunch? Just how I remember them. These are incredible. Looking for like a healthier snack alternative, something with a little crunch to it, eat while you're watching Netflix. Getting a little bit of protein, actually decent for you. These are pretty freaking good. Next up, we got the home team favorite, baby. We're gonna do the Anna Bar in the Monster Cookie Crunch flavor. The reason I decided to do this one, it is hands down our best-selling flavor of all, so figured I'd take the people's champ. Oh. Coated in chocolate, literally the protein-packed candy bar. Out of all of our bars, it's uh, one of the bigger ones up there, but apparently it's worth it. Mm -mm -mm. Obviously, I'm biased, obviously, but this thing literally tastes like a candy bar. No protein aftertaste, no sugar alcohols, Mmm, great texture, great mouthfeel. This one's got the Reese's Pieces and pretzels in it. I mean, what's not the love? Come on now. Mmm, the thing is, right, when I was at the Olympia, me and Ank were talking, we were kind of mind blown at how well Anabar's doing, right? We're in GNC now, we're in HEB, we're in Hive. You can always go to theanabar.com, look at RGF10, I'll save you money. We're a ton of retailers, store locator, all that. But we're obviously doing well. And I said something to him that had both of us laughing, but essentially like, we were talking like, wow, we got lucky, all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, all we did was create a food product that actually tastes good. I mean, who would have thought? Make a bar that you're supposed to eat that, wow, it actually tastes good. Seems like common sense now, but I guess it wasn't. Next up, we got a protein packed moon pie here, the power pie. We're gonna see if this one is as good as that chocolate one I had earlier. I'm still thinking about that one. All right, here we go. Whoa. I wasn't expecting it to be covered in icing, but here we are. This bad boy, 280 calories, 16 fat, 31 carb, 14 grams of protein. So kind of like the other one, right? The total volume of calories, you're not getting uh, the most protein, but still better than the alternative. Okay, that's really freaking good too. Mm, that is pretty good. That icing is incredible. Mm. All right, folks, we've tried everything at this point. I need to break these all down and rank them. But before we do that, you already know, I give away a box of Anna bars in every single video. In this video, we're giving away two. In order to enter, like the video, leave a comment, be subscribed to the channel. I always pick a winner and announce it in the next video. The first winner is Zelda Glitch Gamer with the comment. Glad to know you and Greg are in better standing. Me too, I'll get to that in a second. Appreciate you, email me, you already know. And then the other winner is BJ Palm, 1994. Great video, Remington. The way you guys joked tonight in front of the expo while working was fun to see. The cameos by Johnny and Greg were very cool. Definitely gonna try to make it next year. Keep up the awesome work. You send me email as well, brother. Appreciate you. I'll get one of these boxes of bars out to you. Now, if you watched my last video confronting Greg Doucette in person, right? Little clickbaity. Some people expected a fight. We've obviously went back and forth. You guys can see it. He's made videos. I made videos. There was a time when we didn't get along, right? Well, a few months back, I reached out to him, apologized for anything I'd ever done. We buried the hatchet and come to find out we we're both going through something very similar at the time. It's kind of uh, personal stuff, right? But we're in a very similar situation. We kind of came together, had some long talks and we're able to find that we were, I guess, had more alike than we had different. Yeah, it actually genuinely was nice to see him and I believe he was being genuine too. Once the cameras were off, we talked about it a little bit. And yeah, essentially we're both um, learning every day and trying to be better, you know? You make mistakes, you can let your ego get in the way sometimes. You can not admit when you're wrong, but hey, that's all part of life. If you're not growing, then what are you doing? So that's what that was. And then the other comment, you know, you said the way we joked in that fun the expo while working was fun to see. You know what, man? I try to put any scenario or situation I'm in, regardless if I'm underslept or whatever it is, you gotta try to make it fun. You can make any situation fun if you go into it with the right mindset. They say if you enjoy what you do, you never feel like you gotta work a day in your life. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Appreciate both of you guys. Make sure you enter the giveaway. Now, let's get to these rankings. 
back. I made some notes, and here's how we're gonna do this. Um, the worst one, there's only one of these that I really didn't like, and that is this Redcom bar. Absolutely terrible, wouldn't recommend it to anybody. 15 grams of protein, 270 calories. Yeah, if you buy this one, you're gonna leave a one-star review, I can already tell. And where it was sitting here, it's wet on my table. This bar is wet. Who's been handling that? And in the middle here, not saying I didn't like it, but I'm not saying it's the best tasting thing in the world, right? We have these Protein Krispies right here. The cinnamon one was much better than the vanilla marshmallow one. But overall, you're getting a little bit of that whey protein taste. And a lot of this stuff too depends on where you're at in your diet. If you are not currently starving yourself, this probably isn't gonna be the best. But if you're a week out, it's probably gonna be incredible. This thing, 190 calories, 17 grams of protein, good macros, no fat. I think if you understand that the lack of macros, you're gonna lose a little flavor, you're gonna like that. Now, the Bear Bells bar, this is also right in the middle, sitting at 200 calories, 20 grams of protein. Like I said, I think this is better than a Quest bar. It's better than a lot of protein bars I've had. But with me personally, the sugar alcohol aftertaste is kind of a big turnoff. Somebody else might like that, but I wasn't the biggest fan. They do have other flavors. Maybe it could have been this flavor. But with those macros, if you're trying to cut every calorie possible for 20 grams of protein. I don't think that's a bad choice at all. Obviously, I love the jerky chips. Wish I could have had them and not so spicy of a flavor. But 140 calories, 22 grams of protein. These are a no-brainer. And then although they're lower in protein, these taste incredible as well. Great little snack alternative. And then moving on to my favorites, you guys already know, Anna Bar is a clear winner for me. Perfect mix of protein and flavor without none of the crazy aftertaste. Literally, protein-packed candy bar in this bad boy, 20 grams of protein, 285 calories. I think the extra calories, in my opinion, are worth it if you actually want to enjoy what you're eating. You don't want crazy aftertaste or things that upset your stomach, which uh, sugar alcohols can do. So like I always say, take what I say about this bar with a grain of salt. I do own the company and I am a little biased, but I believe it with all my heart when I tell you it's the best tasting protein bar in the world. Now the other thing I needed to shout out here were these Moon Pies. Both brands were very, very good. I think if you bought these, you'd be pleasantly surprised with how good they were. More like a little mini protein dessert. Coming in at 320 calories, 14 grams of protein. They have a little less protein than I'd like. I always say this kind of rule of thumb. I like my bars and snacks to at least have 20 grams of protein, but you know, can't win them all. So if you've got the calories to spare, I think either this one or this one right here are both great options. And then finally, I probably have the best things to say about these little protein pancake things here. I can't believe how good these are. Literally taste like actual pancakes with a nice little sweet center. Got a ton of little flavors here and I seriously can't wait to try them. Now it's only got 10 grams of protein per, but if you ate two, that'd get you up to that 20 grams of protein mark and you'd have 320 calories, which you know, for something like this, it's a snack, I think, hey, it's better than eating an actual dessert where you're not getting any protein. So yeah, these were phenomenal. And overall, this was a pretty good experience. I expected to dislike a couple more things than I did, but really the only thing that's gonna give me nightmares is that ball. Why is it wet? So yeah, folks, that's it. That's gonna wrap this video up. How about this? If you guys wanna see uh, another video like this, you guys comment down below. That's gonna enter you into the giveaway first and foremost, but comment down below. If there's any snacks or things you like that I missed, I'll buy whatever you guys say. I'll do another video just like this and let you guys know uh, my honest thoughts. Appreciate you as always. If you like the clothes I'm wearing, look at this. Young Latest dropped these like major city shirts, right? Look at this. This is the Houston one, obviously. Look at the back of that. Boom. They just dropped these. They got them for New York, Chicago, Miami, Las Vegas. A couple other spots. The fit is great. Look, it's tight in the arms where it's supposed to be, but nice and loose down here. And I'm 5'10 right now, like 184 pounds. I wear a medium. And this is perfect for me. If you ever want to check out Young LA and what all they got, you can always visit younglay.com. My code RJ will save you money. You already know, it's quite literally all I wear. Look at this. Shorts, shirt, even my socks and briefs are Young LA. I know if you try them out, you're going to love them. They also have a massive Black Friday event coming with a ton of new items. So stay tuned for that. If you want to follow the best dot on the planet, we're actually eating foods you love, like pizzas, like cookies, like chocolate chip waffles and ice cream. Yet they're just like these, packed with protein, except you put them all in the best tasting category. Don't forget, you can always pick up a copy of the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, which you can find at the first link in my description box. Over 350 pages with just about every recipe imaginable. I know if you follow us in this book, you truly do. You'll see results no matter what. You just got to get in that kitchen and do it. That sounds good. Hit the link down below. And finally, I am a personal trainer. I can make you a meal plan, help you lose weight. You fill out a questionnaire and I personally, me, Remington James, I get to work and make you your program. It'll work as long as you follow it. You can always check out my website, remingtonjamesfitness.com to check that out. And there you have it, folks. That's going to wrap this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Once again, I couldn't do what I do if you guys didn't watch. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Wham, bam, 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 baby. Whew. We gone. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Why is that wet?